Welcome back, everybody, and this one should be a dandy this afternoon. Freezing temperatures here for tonight's matchup between the Bandits and the Stars. And here come the Stars. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nestler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. The away team is going to be tested here defensively by this quarterback. Lee, I think they'll lose a close game because of their inability to match up in the secondary and the lack of pressure they'll put on the quarterback. Let me tell you what I think about this football game. The away team has what I consider to be one of the better rushing attacks in the nation. Their game plan is to run right at this defensive front. And I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't put a hurting on these guys. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Kicks it off. Schneider fields it at the three with the spin. Breaks one. Kickoff return 24 yards. Schneider on the return. They'll start this drive at the 26 yard line. Dyer, the lone back. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he was stopped at the line there. Well, that's possible because of the penetration the defense was able to get. It's tough to get any yards offensively when that happens. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26. The Bandits line up with two tight ends. He spins, and he's stopped behind the line. And they stop the halfback for a loss. And let me tell you something. That toss play had no chance whatsoever. Defense was all over it. Dyer lines up as a single back. Crockett drops to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. Well, he missed his receiver there, coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. Rather than punt it away, they're going to take a shot at this defense. Got it. And they tackle him. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. When you drop back to pass and see zone, it's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows. I bet you. Lure with a takedown at the 41-yard line. Guys, let's take another look at that play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Dyer is the single setback. He can scoot. Gets past the tackler. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. What a weapon this running back is. I'll tell you what, this guy makes the defense look silly out there. They're falling all over themselves trying to get him on that one. And he tacks on the extra point. Under a minute now in the first quarter. And the score, the Bandits, seven. The Stars, nothing. Scott is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it. Lord takes it to 16. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. The Stars come out in the ace formation. A little juke. Big opening. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me say one thing about that run. It takes one heck of a running back to be able to make a play like that, my friend. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. And he hits the PAT. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. The Stars, seven, and the Bandits, seven. Kicks it off. 
Sanford fields it at the nine, spinning. The last time this offense had the ball, they ran it very well, and they put it in the end zone. We'll have to see if that's their focus one more time. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. The Bandits line up with three receivers. Bunch steps up. They'll make the sack. And that'll get this defense fired up. The offensive lineman had his feet too close together. As an offensive lineman, you got to spread your feet and have a nice base. One man backfield. He's looking. He steps up under heavy pressure. He throws this one out to the left. It falls incomplete. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 12. The Bandits come out showing three wide. Crockett fakes a handoff. Steps up in the pocket. Found his man. He's all the way down to the 43-yard line. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. About two minutes before halftime. Crockett lines up with five wide out. Crockett on first down. Throws this one out to the left. McLaughlin brings him down. They get about 10 yards on that play. It's first and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. And they have three bunched. Steps up. He's under pressure. Looks. Heaves a long one down the middle. Incomplete. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. So it's second and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Crockett lines up in the shotgun. Crockett drops back to pass. He steps up once and all. He got it. Sheds that one. And he will score. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the move. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is the Bandits, 14, and the Stars, 7. Scott looks ready to kick this one off. Lord and Kid back ready to return. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Kid fields it at the three. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. And with that success running the football, I'm looking for play action and right over the top for six. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Stars set up in the gun. And that's his receiver who's wide open. The 50 at the 40 at the 30. To the 20, to the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. Do you realize in high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball? He's been making big plays his whole life. And he hits the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, the Stars, 14, and the Bandits, 14. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sanford back deep to return. We should have a return on this one. Sanford fields it at the two. He spins around. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. The Bandits line up with two tight ends. Back to pass. Looking. He's rolling right. Wants to throw outside. Got him. 
Stewart with a takedown. What do you think of this pass, Coach? When you look at the replay here, the impressive thing about this pass is how quickly he gets the ball from point A to point B. That makes it tough on the old defense to react. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Two tight ends here. Crockett drops back on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Almost intercepted. That's twice now they've called that pass play. Defense did a nice job here of forcing the incomplete pass. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Six DBs in the lineup. Crockett back to throw. Throws this one out to the right. Robinson brings him down. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. So the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. The Bandits line up with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Finn moves. Bond with a takedown. And he comes up with a nice run. A nice run, but they kept him from getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Bandits come out in the ace formation. Crockett hands it off. No, play fake. Kicked off. Got some open field. Makes a move. Down the sideline. They'll go to work at the 50-yard line. The Stars line up with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. Stepped up. He's under some heat. In and out of his hand. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. Throwing right at him. He just didn't catch it. It's second down and ten to go. Ball right around midfield. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Guns it across the middle. Off his hands, incomplete. And we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked. The Bandits got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. And this one's a short kick. Dudley fields it at the 22. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Stars come out in the ace formation. On the ground, up the middle. And he's taken down. He picks up a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 32. Bridges, the lone back. He jukes, and down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Third and eight. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Stars come out in a two tight end set. Hilliard off the fake, and it's caught. Fourth down, Coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. Fourth and three. Ball on the 38-yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. McFadden gets it off. Schneider takes it to 28. And he got a few yards. He got more than a few. That was a good return. Good return and outstanding speed. He almost went all the way that time. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. The Stars bring in the nickel package. They'll give it off here. 
Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. He let that little corner bring him down. To be a productive runner at the college level, you have to make that guy miss and get upfield. Bunch formation. Dyer gets another handoff. He tries to spin. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Knocked out of bounds. And he busts a huge gainer there. Boy, that one looked familiar. It looked like the exact same play they ran previously. Kirk, you're absolutely right. And don't be surprised if they run it again. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Dyer alone in the backfield. Dyer on the give. Loose football. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, you've got to be fundamentally sound. You've got to protect the football with your body. I don't care who you are. They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. Bridges is the single setback. With the spin, and he's taken down at the 48. That'll be a gain of three yards. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Hilliard is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Complete. Broke away from one. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. They went deep there, and did they have good luck with it. Well, I'll say, that was a great touchdown catch by the wide receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, the Stars, 21. The Bandits, 14. Kicks it off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We might see two hands on the ball after their last drive. Yeah, but if you start thinking too much about fumbling, you become less effective as a runner. They just need to go out there and play their game. Nickel defense. Crockett on first down. He's looking. He steps up, throws it to the outside. That one could have been an interception. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. The Stars line up in a nickel back. Crockett drops back. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Dyer, the low is back. He drops back, looking, steps up, rifles it over the middle, and it's picked off. And guys, that was his second pick of the day. Is that guy sneaky or what? Yeah, great job of being in the right place at the right time. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is the Stars, 21, the Bandits, 14. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Stars come out in the ace formation. Hillier hands it off, and down he goes at the 28. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Stars come to the line with their jumbo package. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. Ferguson brings him down. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Third and two. Ball on the 27-yard line. Get it again. 
Eldridge with a takedown. Didn't get anything. The Bandits are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up. And he got it. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. King looks ready to kick this one off. Sanford and Schneider back to return. Kicks it off. Schneider fields it at the three. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or do they let her rip? They'll set up shot at the 23. Crockett has five receivers lined up here. He's looking. He steps up. He's on the run. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. I'm not sure if going for two is the right call here. Look. They don't get the two. Pretty aggressive decision, Coach. Yeah, this team works a lot on these conversions, and he told me before the game that he might take some chances. It just didn't work out this time. With the onside kick. So that onside might have been their last chance. Well, you can't blame these guys for trying, but you never know. The other team could make a mistake. Bridges gets the carry. Ferguson brings him down. Short little game there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 41. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. Third and 11. Ball on the 43-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he takes a knee. They send out the punting unit. That's the end of the game. The final score is the start.